Actress Verna Lissi was well known for her amazing performances and stood out because of her incredible talent and ability to play various roles. One of her most memorable career moments really stands out. What's your favorite memory or personal experience with this great actor? Share your stories below and keep watching for more interesting facts about her. Verna Lissi, the actress known for her influential roles in the film industry, left a lasting impression on Hollywood and beyond. She reshaped how women were portrayed in movies, inspiring future actors and actresses. In her performances, she challenged stereotypes, portraying strong and independent characters with depth. Her professionalism set a high standard, earning her respect from peers and directors. Beyond acting, she used her fame to support social issues, making a difference both in the industry and society. Her influence on cinema remains strong, reminding us of the power of storytelling and the importance of diverse representation. The impact of her work continues to shape our appreciation of movies today. Verna Lissy portrayed Mrs. Ford in How to Murder Your Wife. During filming, her husband, an architect, unexpectedly showed up on set. Seeing her in a scene requiring nudity upset him. This led to an amusing chase involving Jack Lemmon, who fled the scene and hid in a dumpster until security found him. Besides her film work, she also acted in television and stage productions. At Piccolo Titro di Milano, she starred in Ija Cabini, directed by Strailer. Lissy gained recognition in the late 60s in the United States, being considered a successor to Marilyn Monroe. In addition to How to Murder Your Wife, Lissy appeared opposite both Jack Lemmon and Tony Curtis in separate films. With Lemmon, she starred in Some Like It Hot, and with Curtis in Not With My Wife, You Don't. Actress Verna Lissy had connections in the entertainment world beyond acting. In the 1980s, an Argentinian band named Sumo, fronted by an Italian singer, dedicated a song to her. This singer, whose brother is actor Andrea Prodan, shared the screen with her in the movie I Ragazzi di Via Panisperna in 1988. Verna Lissi had one child, Corrado, born in July 1962 from her marriage to Franco Pescai. She was also the sister-in-law of Franco Graziosi. Throughout her career, Verna Lissi's influence extended beyond her acting roles. These connections in the music and film industries demonstrate the breadth of her impact and relationships within the entertainment world. Actress Verna Lissi struggled with mental health issues alongside other life challenges. She was renowned for her talent on screen, but behind the scenes, she battled her inner demons. Mental health problems can affect anyone, no matter their fame or success. Her journey reminds us that being famous doesn't protect someone from personal struggles. Throughout her career, she portrayed strong characters, but off screen, she faced anxiety and depression. The pressure to maintain her public image while dealing with internal turmoil affected her well-being. Balancing her professional and personal life was difficult, and she often felt overwhelmed. Her story emphasizes the importance of mental health awareness and having support systems during tough times. Despite her struggles, she continued acting, showing resilience in adversity. In addition to mental health battles, she also faced relationship challenges and the uncertainties of the entertainment industry. These experiences shaped her and influenced her work. In conclusion, Verna Lissi's life shows that even successful individuals can struggle internally. Her story reminds us to prioritize mental health and seek help when needed, regardless of how tough the journey may seem. Actress Verna Lissi, known for her talent and choices, has made significant contributions not only in cinema, but also as a family woman. She is a grandmother to three grandsons Franco, born in 1995, and the younger ones Federico and Ricardo, born in 23. In 1968, she had a big opportunity when offered the lead role in Barbarella. However, she decided not to take it and returned to Italy, showing her commitment to her roots. Verna Lissi's beauty was admired by Bridget Bardo. In 1965, Bardo pointed to her as the most beautiful woman in the world during an interview. Her family connections and choices in the film industry reveal a woman with a strong sense of identity and priorities. Her decision to decline the lead role in Barbarella and recognition as a beauty icon by Bardo showcased her as someone who valued authenticity over external glamour. In summary, her life is marked not only by achievements in cinema, but also by her roles as a grandmother and a woman true to herself. In How to Murder Your Wife, the character played by Verna Lissi holds a significant role, despite appearing later in the story. For the first 24 minutes, the audience eagerly awaits the character's arrival, which increases interest in the story. 
when the character finally appears around the 31 minute mark, their presence is powerful and holds viewers' attention. It's not until later, approximately 51 minutes into the film, that the character speaks, adding depth and complexity through dialogue. What adds another layer of interest to the portrayal is the familial connection within the entertainment industry. Lissy's sister, Esperia Pierlissi, and niece, Stefania Graciosi, are also actors forming a talented family. An interesting aspect is the portrayal of the character in the Italian version of the film, where they take on the persona of a Greek individual. This cultural detail adds an extra dimension to the performance, showing Lissy's ability to adapt to different cultural contexts. In summary, Lissy's portrayal in How to Murder Your Wife demonstrates her acting skill, holding viewers' attention despite appearing later in the movie. This analysis offers insight into the character's complexity and the versatility of Lissy's performance in the film. Verna Lissy, the Italian actress, had a surprising aspect to her life story. Despite her glamorous image on screen, tragedy struck when her only child, a son, died in a terrible accident. This sad event deeply affected her, influencing how she saw the world and the choices she made in her career. Starting her acting journey in the 1950s, Verna Lissi quickly gained fame in Italian cinema. She could play both funny and serious roles, showing how talented she was. In the 1960s, she went international, acting in Hollywood movies with famous actors. Critics praised her performances, showing she was respected in Italy and abroad. Despite facing personal struggles, Verna Lissi never gave up acting. She left behind a memorable career that still inspires new actors and actresses today. In short, Verna Lissi's life had ups and downs. Her story shows how strong she was, both in her personal life and in her work. Verna Lissi, the acclaimed Italian actress, harbored a lesser known aspect amidst her celebrated career. Despite her radiant presence on screen, she struggled with bouts of depression throughout her life, a fact that surprised many. Behind the glamour of her performances lay a personal battle that often went unnoticed by her admirers. Despite her outward success and charm, she grappled with inner turmoil, navigating through the ebbs and flows of mental health challenges. This lesser-known facet of her life sheds light on the complexities hidden beneath her captivating performances. Verna Lissi's journey serves as a poignant reminder that even amidst fame and adoration, individuals can face silent battles. Her story encourages empathy and understanding, urging us to look beyond the facade of stardom and recognize the human behind the limelight. One surprising and sad part of her life was that she battled depression, which many of her fans didn't know. Despite her happy image on screen, she struggled internally, showing a big difference between how she seemed in public and what she faced privately. This hidden side makes us see more about her, showing that there was more to her than just being glamorous. During her career, she worked hard to seem elegant and charming, winning over audiences with her talent. But behind the scenes, she felt like she wasn't good enough and was often very sad, which was very different from the characters she played. Even though she was loved by fans everywhere, she found it hard to deal with her inner struggles alongside all the praise she got. Her personal battles affected both her life and work, influencing the roles she took on and the relationships she had. Despite her difficulties, she stayed strong, using her pain to make her performances more powerful and touching for audiences. Her story reminds us that even famous people can have tough times. Verna Lissi's life shows us how people can overcome challenges even when things are hard. She continues to inspire artists and fans, reminding us of how strong people can be when life gets tough.